Hi, this is Dave iz 2 uuf Today we'll test the Abri tactical antenna. Stay with me. I got this antenna from AliExpress and it costed around 20 euros. It is made of two parts. We have a matching section that can be removed, this one, and the other part of the antenna is made of something that looks like measuring tape inside of some plastic cover. Let's open it. Once you extend it, this antenna becomes quite long. It's over one meter long. Mine is the longest one. And then you can fold it again to make it smaller if you wish. This antenna is designed to be mounted directly on a handheld radio, like this one. But being very long, it makes a very strong lever and tends to flip the radio over like, like this. However, still usable. This antenna comes in four sizes, 33, 48, 72 and 108 centimeters. I'm testing the longest one, over one meter long. Let's see how I performed my tests. First, I prepared two reference half-wave dipoles, one for the 2 meter band and the other one for the 70 cm band. Then I gathered some other antennas to be compared. Antenna number 1 and number 2 are one quarter wave styluses that I made myself. Antenna number 3 is a UHF only and it comes from a Baofeng BF888 handheld radio. Antenna number 4 is VHF only and it is taken from a Yezu VX110. Antenna number 5 also is VHF only and it comes from a Motorola DP3691 DMR radio. Antenna number 6 is one of those old thick antennas with BNC connector once very common on VHF handhelds. Antenna number 7 is UHF only and it comes from a Retevis RT3 DMR radio. Antenna number 8 is an unlabeled 205mm long dual band rubber antenna that I have no idea where it comes from. Antenna number 9 is dual band Mark D original and it has a 355mm long thin radiator. Antenna number 10 is an unlabeled dual band flexible antenna 390mm long. Antenna number 11 is a brand new Nagoya NA773 dual band antenna. And finally antenna number 12 is the Abri antenna we are testing. To test the performances of this antenna, I connected my laboratory signal generator to an external GP6 antenna to work as a stable beacon. With an internet connection, I can remotely control my signal generator, I can set the frequency and the output power. About 500 meters away, I place my portable RF Explorer spectrum analyzer which sizes more or less the same of a handheld transceiver. For the measurement, I set the spectrum analyzer in averaging mode and I let the reading to settle to a stable value before taking note of them. The spot I have chosen is very good for this kind of tests. The valley in front of my house here in the Alps is quite steep and gives me some nice empty Fresnel zone to avoid the refractions and reflections. I began by reading the signal strength at 145 and 433 MHz with the reference dipoles. Then I went on with all the other antennas and I recorded all the data. These are the results for the VHF band. The Abri performed extremely well, gaining over 3 dB over the dipole. This antenna is not only efficient by itself, but being so long, it brings the fields far away from the ground, and this makes a difference. We see also that a simple 50 cm stylus makes much better than all the rubber duck antennas. These are the results for the UHF band. In this case, the Abri antenna I tested performed very badly. 
Its radiator is way too long for the UHF and probably its matching section is not efficient as in the VHF. We also see that all the longer dual band antennas are suffering in this test and the best results are obtained from the shorter single band antennas. This is the VSWR plot of the Abri antenna. It gives its best matches at 138, 227, 324 and 428. At the frequencies I tested it, which are in the middle of the region 1 band plan, VSWR is still good. Don't be fooled by values like 2.88, it's quite normal value for handhelds. We can see the plot of the Nagoya NA773, which was one of the best performing antennas, or the plot of the original Yezu FT1DE antenna. They all do worse. Also keep in mind that when using your radio, if you move it near your body, the VSWR will change a lot, going up to, for example, in this case, 3, 4 and more according to the position where the antenna is in respect of your body. In conclusion, the 1 meter long Abri antenna is a very performing solution for VHF if you need something sturdy that you can quickly deploy. However, if you're working UHF, you'd better find something else. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you like it, add a like uh, and your comments below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel 73 from Dave, I said to you, UF.